monster trucks are very special in their own way. They're not the kind of trucks for daily driving, nor a truck you can take on a cruise or a vacation. Monster trucks are built to provide nothing but extreme entertainment. Today, Mad World brings you 10 of the most legendary monster trucks that ever existed in automotive history. And just wait until you see number one. It will blow your mind. But before the big monsters sweep you off your feet, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Mad World. Hit that bell icon to get regularly updated about our latest and mind-boggling videos. Here we go. Number 10. Bigfoot Bigfoot is not just one of the most popular monster trucks that ever existed, but it is also regarded as one of the pioneers of monster trucks in the world. Bigfoot, built in 1975 and debuted in 1979, is regarded as the original monster truck. This well-known monster truck was created and owned by Bob Chandler, a former construction worker from the St. Louis, Missouri area. Interestingly, and you'd find this hard to believe, the first Bigfoot monster truck was created from a 1974 F-250 four-wheel drive. It made its first paid public appearance in Denver, Colorado. In 1981, Bigfoot 1 made the first monster truck car crush. That same year, it was featured in the film Take This Job and Shove It. Interestingly, due to its overwhelming popularity, Bigfoot was listed by Hot Rod Magazine as one of the 100 most influential vehicles in the history of hot rodding. Number 9. Snakebite Interestingly, Snakebite is no different from Bigfoot at all. In fact, Snakebite serves as an alternative name and identity used for the series of Team Bigfoot trucks when two are scheduled at one event. The identity was initially created in 1991 to promote a Mattel Hot Wheels toy. If Bigfoot is regarded as the first original monster truck, Snakebite has a personal record of its own. Snakebite is interestingly considered as the first 3D character body monster truck. Prior to the start of the 1991 Penda Point series season, Bigfoot number 4 was rebranded as Snakebite. The original Ford F series fiberglass truck body was replaced with a hand sculpted 3D fiberglass body that made the hood, fender, grille, and portions of the doors resemble a red, yellow, and green venomous snake with fangs. In 1992, Bigfoot No. 8 ran the Snakebite body and finished second in the Penda Point series standings behind Bigfoot No. 10. In November 2015, it was announced that Snakebite would be returning to the monster truck competition circuit in 2016 for the 25th anniversary of the debut of the truck. The truck was designed in a retro red paint scheme that resembles the original 1991 design. Snakebite was driven by Vinny Venom. Wow, even the driver sounds venomous. Number 8. Grave Digger Another monster truck that took the world of hot rodding by storm. Grave Digger was a monster truck racing team in the Feld Entertainment Monster Jam series. There are nine Grave Diggers being driven by different drivers to allow them to make appearances at more events, but their flagship driver was creator Dennis Anderson. Grave Digger is considered to be one of the most influential and iconic monster trucks of all time. Grave Digger was originally conceived in 1982 by Dennis Anderson. The first truck was a red 1952 Ford pickup truck. Later, a silver and blue 1951 Ford panel truck was his new mud truck that became the first Grave Digger monster truck. The truck received its name when Anderson, amicably talking trash with his fellow racers, said the now famous line, I'll take this old junk and dig you a grave with it, a reference to the age of his old pickup in comparison to their relatively modern trucks. In 1986, Grave Digger underwent a transformation to a complete monster truck and received its first famous black graveyard paint scheme. There is much debate over whether Grave Digger has taken over the title of most popular monster truck from Bigfoot. As a result, the Grave Digger vs. Bigfoot rivalry is one of the strongest in the sport, despite the fact that trucks only race each other a few times each year. Stunned by this amazing monster truck? Wait till you see the number one truck on our list. It'll blow your mind. Number 7. Batman Though it only appeared several times in any monster truck event, Batman has become one of the crowd's favorite. 
Batman is a monster truck competing on the USHRA circuit, where it is the 2008 Monster Jam World Racing Champion. The truck is officially licensed by DC Comics and has a replica of the Batmobile as its body. It is driven by John Seesock and debuted with Jason Childress driving in Charlotte, North Carolina in 2006. It has also competed in three Monster Jam World Finals and won racing in both the 2007 and 2008 events. So far, Batman has made four appearances in the World Finals. Both years shared a different driver. In 2006, Jason Childress drove it. Then in 2007, John Seesock drove it and took home the World Finals Championship. The truck repeated the feat and retained the World Racing Championship in 2008. Number 6. Jurassic Attack Jurassic Attack was a custom monster truck from Don Frankish Motorsports. The truck is best known for when Crusader driver Lindsey Wink got started by driving Jurassic Attack. Currently, owned by Trent Hickey of Melville, Saskatchewan, Canada, and campaigned on a part-time basis as Maniac under an agreement with Don Frankish. The truck was also featured in the movie Rat Race. In 1998, the truck debuts with a leaf spring chassis. It is also interesting to note that in 2013, the Jurassic Attack chassis were sold and eventually became the new Maniac. To celebrate the truck's legacy and popularity, Hot Wheels is planning to release a green Jurassic Attack toy soon. Number 5. El Toro Loco The El Toro Loco is a monster truck currently racing in the Advance Auto Parts Monster Jam Professional Monster Truck Racing Series. It is currently driven by Mark McDonald, Chuck Werner, Becky McDonough, and Mark List, and was originally driven by Lupe Souza, who returned in 2014 to grab the bull by the horns. Other drivers of the Snortin' Bull have included Dan Bradani, Aaron Basil, Ryan Huffaker, Joe Parnell, Chris Baker, and Nathan Wink. It features one of the first 3D body shells with horns sticking out of the roof. This body was originally designed for Bulldozer and was found to be a second use for El Toro Loco. As El Toro Loco has increased in popularity, it has become the primary truck for the particular body style. For 2016, a red El Toro Loco was run on the Amsoil series with rookie driver Mark List behind the wheel. Mark won the first overall event in 2016 at Tulsa, Oklahoma. Number 4. Dragon's Breath Featuring a body loosely based on a 1953 Chevrolet Corvette, the finned and outrageously painted Dragon's Breath is a relative newcomer to the monster truck scene. Debuting on January 8, 2011 at Ford Field in Detroit, driven by 24-year-old Becky McDonough, one of the few female drivers on the Monster Jam circuit. After just one year on the Monster Jam circuit, Dragon's Breath already has a 1 ratio 24 scale Hot Wheels toy car. Number 3. Backwards Bob Driven by Mike Wine, this truck may not be as outlandishly styled as some of the other trucks on this list, but is distinguished by the body being mounted backwards on the chassis, making for some reality warping visuals. The truck debuted in 2008 at the Monster Jam World Finals in Las Vegas, Nevada. Number 2. Predator Owned and driven by veteran Monster Jam driver Alan Pizzo, Predator is well known on the circuit for its fearsome feline styling, also shared by its sister trucks Prowler and Pouncer. But Predator was the first, and with its bright green eyes and purple and black paint job, it's the most menacing looking of the trio. Although the name started out on some of Pizzo's conventionally bodied trucks, the Predator name debuted on a Panther design body in 1993. Pizzo is well known as one of the best freestyle drivers in the series. The truck has been a Monster Jam World Finalist in 2000, 2001, 2002, and 2006. Finally, rolling down to number one, and we have number one, Mohawk Warrior. It's been said dogs and their owners sometimes have an uncanny resemblance to each other. But how often can you say the same for monster trucks and their drivers? That's the case with Mohawk Warrior, driven by George Balhan, known for his Mohawk hairstyle. So is his truck, with styling inspired by a Cadillac Escalade. 
The unique looking monster truck debuted at the 2010 Monster Jam World Finals in Las Vegas. Now you may ask, how much does the construction and maintenance of these monstrosities cost? Well, we do have an authentic price cost for it. Safe to say it's not a trend someone with light pockets should indulge in. The average cost to get the vehicle competition ready is about $150,000. The engine alone costs about $40,000. Some drivers report that the cost of keeping their vehicles operational each year is nearly as much as the initial purchase price. Well, that's all folks. Which of these monster trucks was your favorite? We would love to hear it from you guys in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with a monster truck fan friend. Subscribe to Mad World and stay tuned for more awesome videos. See you in the next video.